Welcome back. My name is Kenzie. If you're new, today we're going to be doing a spring decorate with me. I kind of cleared out my entire kitchen so we can change things up in here. We're going to completely start fresh. Sorry if you hear a whole bunch of banging. We are getting some new floors in right now. So we are house is under complete construction. It is such a mess over here, but I wanted to come downstairs today. We've been filming a lot upstairs, but I wanted to just bring it downstairs today and start decorating for spring here in the kitchen. I have kind of been playing around in here and I have been loving how it's turned out. And there's a few things that we've updated in the kitchen that I wanna show you. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to just sit down, make a little decorate with me video here in the kitchen. This video is also sponsored by Beekeepers Naturals. So I will talk about them a little bit later on in the video. Yeah, let's get into the decorating. Jumping right into it with the dining table, I got some fresh florals from my local grocery store and I'm gonna make a big statement arrangement for the centerpiece on this table. The flowers I'm using today are peach colored roses, white roses, eucalyptus, white ranunculus, baby's breath, and this yellow asters solidago. I don't really know what it is for filler and extra color. I mixed some room temperature water with some plant food that came with the flowers, and then I started off by trimming a few inches off of each stem at an angle with some really sharp gardening shears. I'm putting one stem in at a time and alternating each one so every stem is different, and I'm also alternating the places in the vase that I put them. I'm using this glass jar to hold all the water, and I put this in an even bigger vase to dress it up some more. I do love this vase, but after a day or so of having it, I realized the opening was just a little small for the amount of flowers I'm using and they were just getting and looking a little smushed so a little spoiler alert I end up changing it up in the end and it looks 10 times better than this the flowers are thriving in their new pot it is my new favorite thing to do for arrangements now I am obsessed with how the end result turned out I will show you exactly what I did to make this arrangement even better in just a minute but first I want to start decorating in the rest of this kitchen I got this pot rack, this gold brass pot rack to, uh, <laughs> to hang up here. This is kind of the vision. I got this a long time ago um, and I just never have hung it up because I've just, I love this tile so much. I've just been scared <laughs> to touch it. But I think that I finally built up the courage to add it. I think it's gonna add some contrast um, it's gonna fill up the space a little. It's just really bright in here. So I think it'll be good for the space. Yeah, let's just do it. We're gonna try to put it in the grout line. So if it's like, if we don't like it, then we can just take it down, hopefully, and not ruin the tile, but eh, we'll just do it. Let's take a quick minute to talk about today's sponsor, Beekeepers Naturals. I have been using their throat spray ever since they sent it to me almost every single day, just as like a refresher and an immune support sort of thing. We live in Colorado and during the winter, it's, it's very dry. You can see the snow out there, so it's very cold too. Um, and so I always am using this. It's just a preventative measure. It coats your throat, it makes it less dry, it makes it feel 10 times better. This spray is totally natural. There is propolis as a key ingredient and it has so many benefits. Propolis is what the bees use to protect the hive. It fights germs and supports your immune system with antioxidants, vitamin C, zinc, iron, B vitamins, and over 300 beneficial compounds. It naturally contains flavonoids and polyphenols that fight free radicals and combat oxidative stress. And it helps soothe a scratchy throat. I will leave the link to it down below in the description box as well as the discount code so you guys can save some money at checkout. Thanks again to Beekeepers Naturals for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's get back in to the rest of the kitchen decorating. <laughs> Before any decorating, I always like to start fresh by clearing off the counters of any existing clutter or decor, and I also wipe it clean with some quartz or granite spray. I'm changing everything up in here, so I completely cleared everything out, which also makes it so I can get a good deep clean in these areas, which doesn't always happen, so it's definitely necessary every once in a while. We stand on the opposite shore. 
Starting off on this side of the kitchen, I'm placing an antique breadboard I got from Olive Atelier. Propping that up and next to it, I'm putting this natural medium-sized vase with some artificial baby's breath stems from Amazon inside. Then I'm placing a wood mortar and pestle next to it to finish off this little corner. Next to the stove, I'm placing this vintage tea kettle I got from the thrift store. I love using dark colors like browns to a contrast with my kitchen because it is so light. So adding darker pieces like this on the countertops just tends to stand out more and it just balances out the tones in the room. I should be the last to know all in this. For the brass pot rack, I hung these brass S hooks that also came with it, and then I'm hanging this antique pan. I think this is an egg pan. It also just has a brown color to it, and the rustic vibe goes well with the other older pieces in here. So next to it, I'm putting this small cutting board that half marble and half wood. This is from TJ Maxx. I got a long time ago. And on top of that, I'm hanging some brass measuring spoons. I love how these look, especially against the white marble. Hello Ramona, I mistook you for a dream, the engine glow. Now for this last little part on the rack, I'm going to make a mini bouquet. I'm honestly just using some faux stems that I found left over in my decor closet, but these are mostly all from Hobby Lobby. I'm using the stick stems with buds on them and mixing them with some peonies and Josophilia stems as the greenery. And I'm just putting all of those together and tying some twine around it with a bow. And that is pretty much it for this little guy. I played around with hanging it in different ways on the pot rack, but ultimately I decided it looked best in this basket. I filled it with some more greenery and also added some mini blue thistles to add some more color. And that is it for this little basket. I love how the light pink flowers and the blue thistles look together. It is just so pretty. And I love how this added some greenery and florals to the middle of this wall in the kitchen. It really helps just tie everything together. All in this. I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly I should be the last. I also tried out this woven pot holder up here, but it was feeling a bit too cluttered. So I hung that on the oven instead and just ended up having these on the pot rack. And I think it just looks great like this. On the other side of the stove, I'm adding this planter from McGee & Co that I use as a kitchen crock. And I'm adding in some rustic wooden utensils and my cute gold scissors to play off of the gold hardware on the cabinet. This little crock is mostly for decor. I do use the scissors all the time. And I used to have a lot more spoons in here, but I ended up using a lot of them to either mix paint or plaster for house projects and whatnot. So this is what I have left, but I actually like how minimal it looks. It doesn't feel too cluttered in this little crock, which I really like. Next to the crock, I'm adding this spring arrangement that's from a Target collection from a few years ago, unfortunately, but it's one of my favorites Studio McGee has ever released, so I'll probably always be using it for spring. Next to it, I'm setting this mango wood pedestal from McGee & Co and putting these brass Alexander salt and pepper mills on top of it. And then next to that, I'm adding this cloche that's from Hobby Lobby, but is a great dupe for the one at McGee & Co. I love this thing. It is so cute. You could use this for butter or cookies or whatever you want, or even just decor like I I I'm always getting questions about my backsplash. It is from Ryad Tile. It is the two by six Zellige Tile in the color natural white. It's handmade, it's the real deal, and I actually call it mermaid tile. It is just so beautiful. I really wish you guys could see it in person because the camera definitely doesn't do it justice. It is just so pretty. Anyways, moving on to these floating shelves. I'm starting on the countertop by stacking two coffee table books and I'm putting this mini lamp I got from Timu for like 15 bucks right on top. I love the the texture that this lamp adds.
for the lower shelf, I'm layering this cutting board from McGee & Co. And then on top, I'm adding this pear print from Decenio. I love the bright colors of this watercolor-like painting, and I just think the pears are perfect for springtime. They are so cute. In front of that, I'm adding this little wooden pedestal, and I'm putting this mini grid pattern planter on top with some leftovers baby's breath from our flower arrangement. I just placed them on top of the planter, and then next to that, I'm putting these two gold salt and pepper shakers that I found at an antique store. This brings the gold touches over here to this area, and it just kind of makes the whole kitchen feel more cohesive. For the top, I'm taking this pitcher and adding a few hydrangea stems inside to act as a vase, and next to that, I'm putting the scalloped canister. On the other side, I'm stacking these two berry bowls. I pushed the pitcher back a little bit to give the decor on the shelf some more dimension. On the island, I'm adding this marble tray that I'm always using, and I'm putting this fluted brass soap dispenser on top and a plant right next to it. I ended up changing this thistle plant for this green one, and I put the thistle on this cutting board over here, also on the island. I'm kind of playing around with different styles for this little cutting board, but I ended up adding a candle on here and also this wooden decor piece, and I'm actually gonna be using this as a pinch pot for salt because we are always just reaching for that, especially when we're cooking. So I played around with different styles here, but I ended up layering this grid pattern tea towel with tassels on the end. I just draped that over the cutting board. I just love the added elements here within the linen material and the extra pattern. This really just made the kitchen feel extra cozy and inviting. I also ended up putting the thistle plant on this little cutting board, and I added another little baby's breath stem underneath the pinch pot to finish it off. And that is pretty much it for the island. I also added a brown hand towel from TJ Maxx to the fridge to warm up this bright space even more. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing. That's it for the kitchen decorating, but like I mentioned earlier, I was just not feeling this flower arrangement. I feel like it almost looks disproportionate to the vase and the flowers are just feeling very crowded. So I'm gonna change out this vase for a decorative bowl that I already had instead. I'm using the grid trick for this bowl. So I added my water and plant food and then I'm using a scotch tape to make little squares so our florals have something to rest on and will actually just stay put. I kept adding each stem in one by one and I tried to spread out each color and flower out very evenly. You'll have to cut the stems pretty short to fit in your bowl but I've had this arrangement set out for about five days now and it is still looking and smelling so fresh. Uh, one thing I did notice about this bowl arrangement is it smells so good. It's a lot stronger than when it was in the vase for some reason. I think that overall the flowers are just happier in here and just have more room to thrive with this bigger opening. I also love how the centerpiece is short so there's no need to move it when we're eating in order to see across the table and it's just beautiful. It looks 10 times better in this bowl in my opinion and this is exactly what I was envisioning and honestly I think I'm gonna do this every time for my arrangements now I just think it's so pretty and practical which is everything I look for when I'm decorating All right, that concludes today's video. Let me know what you thought of my kitchen spring decor. I'd love to know all of your opinions. Let me know if you've decorated for spring yet or if you even do decorate for spring. Thanks again to Beekeepers Naturals for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out. I will leave the link to their throat spray down below in the description box. I also have a discount code, so don't forget to use that so you can save some money at checkout. We will see you in a few days in a new video. Bye guys.